Okay, it depends on what she's doing with her hands. Everything is context dependent. Everything depends on her. The women controlling the situation, and, and the best thing you can do is mirror her body language. Whatever she's doing, if she's closed, you you're closed. If she starts to open up, you start to open up. If she's wide open, you've got to start wide open. And body language is pretty simple uh, from open and closed. That means if her legs are crossed and her arms are crossed, she's holding a drink in front of her. You should not be wide open. You should not be standing there with your arms at your side and set your drink down. You need to hold your drink and kind of don't exactly mirror her body language, but mimic it. If she's closed, you're closed. And if the, if the conversation is going smoothly, you can try to lead her by opening up a little bit like setting your drink down. Maybe she'll set her drink down, if, she, if you do. But the idea is you both stay closed, it's just not going to get there. And she won't open up until you open up. If she starts open, you have to start open. And if she starts to close up, what that means is you're, you're striking out. You've, you've said something or done something that's causing her to become uninterested or afraid. One of the two, either, either of which is not good. But most women don't start wide open. They start, excuse me, with their legs crossed or their arms crossed and their arms crossed with a drink in front of them when they're talking with you. And they have the shoulder more or less facing you than the front of their body facing you. Gradually, she might turn the front of her body toward you while you're talking. But ideally, you don't, you don't give her the full-on frontal uh, position of your body until she gives you the full in front of her position. In other words, that means you walk over there. If you're both standing, you need to be a little bit off center to the right or the left. Don't just stand there facing her like a drill surgeon until she faces you. Then you can gradually do that. But even if she's standing there wide open with her hands down and a drink in one hand saying, I'd like Dexter too, you need to do that. You need to get open too. Okay? It's very rare. All of us are afraid in social settings. Most of us are very nervous about someone that's very attractive. This is normal as can be. And the more attractive they are, the more nervous and excited we are. It's just like playing poker. The more money in the pot, the more excitement involved. So if uh, she is closed, let's say she only has, she has her legs crossed, but she has her holding the drink in front of her with one hand, her other hand's at the side. You can adopt that posture pretty easily. You can hold your drink with one hand, and you can put one arm at your side, but I wouldn't cross my legs. I would turn just a little bit to the left or right from her. In other words, don't mirror her. It makes people uneasy when you duplicate exactly what they do. And then gradually, as the conversation flows, if it's going, you're going to get a little bit closer physically, and she's going to not back up. If you try to get a little bit closer physically, and she backs up or leans back, stop. You're, she's not ready for that yet, okay? If you get back to where you were, and she gradually opens up, now you can try it again. It's called invading her space. You can lean toward her and say, you know, that's a great joke about Al Davis. I like that. And when you lean forward, closer to her face with your face, and she doesn't back up, that's a very good sign that she doesn't mind you getting that close. So this is all done, well, put it this way. I do all this automatically. It just, it just flows. It's just natural. But when you're first learning it, I don't mind if you think your way through it. But the bad news is if you're thinking about the body language and you're thinking about what you're doing, you're going to miss all of her green lights and you're going to miss all of her red lights. Because <laughs> when you're thinking, you don't pick that stuff up. You're not here now. You're not in the present. You're not with her. You're not reacting to her. You're thinking in your head, and it's not going to work. Uh, you'll miss most of her signals, by the way, if you're in your head. Even from across the room, if you're thinking about it, you won't see them. They're very, very subtle, relatively. Yeah, I think it's important for guys out there to understand that they, the body language stuff, they, they, need to under, they need to know about this, and they need to understand the mechanics of all this. But you want to just have it in the back of your head and you not know, talk to her. You don't want to be thinking, oh, is she closed off or is she open so up and yeah. things like that. It's very important, but if you're in your head thinking about that stuff, you're just not going to be able to flow and uh, talk naturally to the women just thinking in your head. Yeah, well, the women are... 
99% of women between 14 and 40 are uh, here now. I'll take that back. 14 and um, 30. If they, uh, women over 30 who are divorced have just horrible problems and and uh, they're very unhappy. Generally, they have kids and bills and ex-husbands, and it's just a mess. So it's very difficult for them to be in the prison. But when they're young and they don't have that much luggage with them, they are most always in the prison. I mean, just they're here now. They see everything. They feel everything. They know what's happening between the two of you without thinking. It just flows for the woman. And ideally, a man will get to that point. Uh, I don't think I got to it. With women, I'm um, thinking back now, probably 82, I was 42 years old, and I just went back out in the dating world, and I thought it was because I was old that I couldn't get anywhere with women, but actually what the problem was, it was I wasn't um, doing the basics that are called the steel balls principles. That's number one, be a man. Number two, don't be a nice guy. <laughs> that was my biggest fault. Number three... Um, be here now, be present, don't think. Um, and eventually, uh, after I was able to get a girlfriend and another girlfriend and another girlfriend, and then um, I realized that the only difference between being 40 and being 20 is that I have 20 more birthdays than she does. We're all people. And if she doesn't have a big uh, brainwashing problem with men that are twice her age, you're going to do just fine, but it's always the same principle, whether you're 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and I'm 70 now, and it still works for me, no problem. I'm uh, dating a 23-year-old right now, so <laughs> it, it works. I'm amazing. Well, it's... I'm sure there's a lot of 70-year-olds out there that would... Uh, <laughs> to well, I don't look... I don't look quite 70. I look maybe like I'm 60, maybe 58, but it's my attitude, my manner that they find attractive. You know, I'm slim and trim. I'm always in shape. And I only talk about what they want to talk about. I sure as shit don't talk about Obama. I sure as shit don't talk about Afghanistan and Iraq. <laughs> I talk about Miley Cyrus's new outfit. <laughs> Sorry, you've got to stay up on what they're interested in, guys. You can't go out there at 70 years old, and 60 years old, 50 year old, old, and not know who Miley Cyrus is and not know what she had on last night. <laughs> well, the next topic I want to get into is your book, How to Date Young Women, Men Over 35. But before we get into that, um, just to wrap up the, the body language stuff, um, I know there's tons of stuff. Uh, that we cover with body language and all sorts of different things that guys can learn, but and it can get very overwhelming. Two or three things, two or three big uh, bullet points for guys to take home and have in the back of their head when they're out interacting with uh, women. What are, the, what are those people's two or three things out of day? Okay, the most important thing, if she doesn't look at you, don't waste your time. Eye contact is everything. Number two, Women do the choosing. Remember that. Females do the choosing. All mammals, we're mammals, all the female mammals do the choosing. The males have to compete for her attention, and she gets to choose which one she wants. Number three, look for three things that mean the same thing. Clusters of gestures. That's simple. You get my book, uh, so there's even some used books on Amazon for five bucks, uh, Body Language Secrets. Most of the books out there are not worth a damn. There are a couple people who have ripped me off uh, substantially. Uh, they even steal the title. <laughs> but just go with my book and you'll be fine. It's uh, based on psychotherapy. It's based on everything I learned in grad school and everything I learned out in the School of Hard Knocks. 